Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you a new app I picked up recently called Fences 3 by Stardock. You may know them as the people that also make games like Galactic Civilizations 2, but they're one of those interesting companies out there that also creates uh, apps for the Windows desktop. So Fences allows you to basically take a bunch of uh, folders or icons on your desktop and group them into these boxes that they refer to as fences, hence the name of the program. And it's pretty convenient because you can basically put different categories up here at the top like I have and uh, just kind of store everything there so you can drag it down when you need it and it keeps your desktop a lot cleaner. Uh, also with fences is the ability to have multiple desktop screens. So if I had uh, any icons over here, I'd be able to uh, basically switch desktops. But um, until you have the icons there, it won't actually let you switch. So part one of this tutorial, uh, in order to create another desktop screen for you to switch to, you have to drag either an icon or a fence over to the side of the screen, and then that'll let you put it in the new desktop. So now I can switch between them. Not something I personally need because I, I think that the fences themselves cleans up my desktop pretty well, but uh, I know that there are going to be people out there that kind of like that feature, um, kind of a Linux thing as well. Okay, so probably the most important thing here, if you want to actually create a fence, let's uh, start by putting a couple of these folders on the desktop. All you need to do is left click, drag a box that selects all of the folders you want to include or icons or what, whatever other files you happen to be including. And when you select over them with fence enabled, there'll be an option called create fence from these icons. So you do that, you give it a title, you put it where you want on your desktop. So with this new fence, you can tell it to roll down and up just like these, where you hover over the title and it shows it hides it by going to uh, view from the hamburger menu, roll up fence. And now whenever I hover over it, that's what's gonna show there. And you can put it uh, where you'd like on the screen. I like to put them on the top where it kind of snaps to there. And just like individual icons, we can drag them over to different desktop screens. So I can put that up there, have that test folder, and then my three original folders still being over here. But I'm going to put this back over here, move these folders out of the fence, put them in that folder, and I'll delete this fence here. So one more thing about fences, if you want to customize anything, uh, you can go to right click on your desktop, configure fences. And you'll have a bunch of options here. They also give um, like mini tutorials about how to do certain things, like uh, as I was explaining how to switch pages, um, which you can do with the keyboard as well. I just like to do it with the mouse. Uh, so one other cool thing here, quick hide. If you do want to make your desktop completely clear of all of these icons and the fences themselves, just double click on your desktop. And yeah, it'll say, where did my icons go? Well, you can still get them back by double clicking again. And you can, of course, don't show this message again if you already know how to do that. Um, and there's a couple other things here, but for the most part, that's the basics of using Fence. So I recommend going browsing through the configuration menu, seeing if there's any settings you want to play around with. Uh, but really, the main functionality here, getting those fences, putting them up there, and having multiple desktop screens, that's what I use Fence for. So uh, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in my future content.